That was not my fault, the amputee. So, she was really little. She's feeding herself these days. Not even shaving day. It's time to get married. <laughs> Some Belvany to treat us right before the ceremony. It's the only way I do it, dude. <laughs> you guys uh, seen the ceremony set? Oh yeah. We'll be right back. Check this out. Hit her guest book custom made. Oh man, oh, nice. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah that's where we met, and this is, you know, obviously right, where we're getting married. Right here. That's, that's where we met. Awesome. That's more like right there, actually. <laughs> I, I like the view, bro. Let's try it out. Nice view. Like all the guys. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get married. Yeah. 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 Thank you guys. Cheers to the new brother. For being here. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. My uh, grandfather passed it on to me when he when he passed because uh, I carry Ridgeway in my right. name and I'm the, the only grandchild that has. Don't feel missed. Don't feel, feel me not knowing how to do this. <laughs> do it. Now you're in it. 
We're gonna be checking that with a mirror. She was at too. Yeah. That's not how we going. Yeah. What do you think? Honestly, personal opinion. You guys got pretty Time. good What's it weather for it last so long. Aaron Chin. The first thing I noticed about you the very first time that we met wasn't your full head of hair or your big blue eyes or even your glorious calves. It was your heart. Your thoughtfulness and your generosity are what sets you apart. You truly lead the way for me, and I hope that I can live up to the high standard that you have set. I love our friendship, and I never truly understand falling in love until I met you six years ago in a small town in a remote corner of the world, and I will never stop loving you. Did I mention that I love you? As a traveler, you have the time and the space to ponder the endless number of things going on in the world at any given moment, and you have the time to look at all the variables that make up your own life, how complicated that life can be, full of dramas, hopes, <laughs> dreams, thoughts, relationships, and life events that tug you or push you in one way or the next. Outside the scope of a focused line of work or living in a small region of one particular place, the world and all of its happenings and how they influence and intertwine in you and through you can seem quite chaotic, random even. And yet on the flip side of that coin, in that seemingly random, chaotic ocean, there lies this magic, governed by a divine cadence that all the mathematics, science, philosophy and religion to this day still tries but fails to explain. The chances of meeting Aaron in faraway New Zealand were very slim, and the chances of staying in touch with him over great distances were even slimmer. And for these tiny little, all these tiny little things that happen, culminating in these two finding themselves in the same city a year later, with Lisa's unique set of variables aligned just right with Aaron's unique set of variables. A miraculous story which seemed an impossibility manifested. And so here we are now. Lisa, will you have Aaron to be your partner? And will you love him faithfully and with all your heart as long as you both shall live? <laughs> yes, I am your partner for life. <laughs> Aaron, will you have Lisa to be your partner, and will you love her faithfully and with all your heart as long as you both shall live? Yes, I am your partner for that. I promise to give you the best of myself. I promise to support you whatever way you choose to go so that you will continue to grow as an individual. I promise to share with you my time and my attention and to bring joy, strength, and inspiration to our lives. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you share my innermost fears and dreams. I promise to grow along with you and to be willing to face whatever changes and challenges come our way. I promise to be a loving wife and mother, especially when it's difficult. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, with all I have to give and all I feel inside in the only way I know how, completely and forever. With this ring, I pledge my faithful love to you. I join my life with yours. I marry you. I promise to give you the best of myself. I promise to support you whatever way you choose to go so that you will continue to grow as an individual. I promise to share with you my time, my attention, and to bring joy, strength, and inspiration to our lives. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you share my innermost fears and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face whatever changes and challenges come our way. I promise to be a loving husband and father, especially when it's difficult. I promise to love you in good times and bad, with all that I have to give and all I feel inside, the only way I know how completely and forever. With this ring, I pledge my faithful love to you. I join my life with you. I marry you. On behalf of everyone who is present, we love you both very much. We are your family. We are always here to support you during challenging times. Two people falling in love is such a beautiful thing. And to witness two of your friends fall in love is truly exquisite.
and Rara and my dad. I officially pronounce you wife and husband. <laughs> Always had a, a special spot in my heart for Aaron, and uh, and, and meeting Lisa, knowing that uh, knowing that she completes the other half of him. If you two ever just need a reminder of what you're capable of, look at what you're what's outside right here, right now. What you two have made possible. Uh, the stuff doesn't just happen. It's just yeah. an awesome yeah. wedding. And uh, one final thing is, uh, Lisa, if you're half the greatest daughter. As you've been to me, you'll be an awesome <laughs> Through the good times and the hard times, we get to share in the joy and we get to share in the sorrows. And we get to be there through all of the turbulence and all of the joy of life. There's only one thing that I ever worried about, Aaron, and that is whether he would meet and marry somebody who appreciated him for what he deserved to be appreciated for. And Lisa does. <laughs> 